We're focusing on uh, hanging art. How high is too high? How wide is too wide? When it comes to hanging art above your sofa, that's where designer Nyla Free comes in. As with everything, there are rules. Sometimes you can break the rules. Nyla is here to explain things for me, and I was just chatting with you um, down the hall in our green room that uh, my Erica and I always have this debate because she loves to hang art very high. I like it down a bit lower. So you're going to kind of settle things for us right now. It's a common problem. It is. Yes. <laughs> and, and the whole height is so important, right? Because you want your eyes to be focusing right on the pop piece. Well, the eye level um, height is very important. Yeah. And uh, also making sure that the art is part of the room, not necessarily floating on the wall, <laughs> but bringing it down so that it's in relationship to the sofa and the other pieces in, in the room in the scape. Nyla has been kind enough to bring uh, along some, uh, some photographs of examples here. And uh, so what are we looking at right here? Well, this is uh, more of a modern space, obviously yeah. quite colorful. Um, I love the art. And what's important to recognize here is that we do have art that is different sizes. Okay. And the, the common denominator here is the, um, the center spacing. So we have it close to the sofa, which is very important. Yeah. But we also have, um, you know, sort of different heights. But they're all uh, following a center line as far as where, where they're hung. So you have that cohesive feel. So that's how you do it. You would map out the center line mm -hmm. and then build from there, yes. right? OK, cool. That's, that's, that's a good tip. OK. And so the next example we're bringing up here is another uh, dealing with height. And what about, what's, what's good about this one? Well, this one we have a very large piece, which is typical for most people. They have one large piece that they put over their sofa. So keep in mind that we've We've got the, the piece of art about six to nine inches above the sofa, which keeps that relationship close to, um, to the roomscape. And um, one large piece is certainly um, a, great, a great thing to do for the room. And, it, and just keep in mind the scale of the wall that it's going against. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Right? You don't wanna, if you put something too small, too small on a huge wall, yeah. then it just kind of gets lost, exactly. right? Exactly. And here, here we have a, a pair of, of, of pieces. So again, um, this is a great um, sort of indication of a sofa slash banquette eating area where we have a couple of smaller pieces, but uh, it, it fills that wall perfectly within that space. Um, it's a little higher because keep in mind people will be sitting there, so you don't want to be leaning back into the, <laughs> Hitting your into, head the on. <laughs> into the pieces of art. So again, it's circumstantial as well, sort of thinking about where the pieces of art are going and, and, and the heights accordingly. Okay, and how about this one? Because this one's kind of one stacked on another here. This one definitely uses the full height of the wall and the art is uh, very impactful, almost uh, Suzanne style and uh, really takes on the full width of the sofa. So when we talk about using the width, yeah. um, this breaks the rules slightly because we're going a little bit further, but um, this creates the wow factor and a lot of impact in the room. Speaking of breaking the rules, uh, we have a couple of examples here and this is kind of like an ace symmetrical thing going on. Absolutely. So what we have here are um, three very graphic pieces, obviously the black and white, but we've got um, sort of offset uh, larger piece and then two smaller pieces stacked on top of each other, which is um, beautiful and definitely uses the wall. It's just an outside of the box way of uh, approaching uh, the installation of the art. And now we have, uh, if the, yeah, this one's, this, this one's got a lot going on. This one's really fun because, you know, this is a, a collected approach, lots of small pieces, yeah. whether they be, you know, family photography, um, places that you've visited along your travels, it, it's very collected and it uses the wall, uh, of course, definitely past the sofa and takes advantage of even above the um, end table and the um, behind the lamp. This is an example of sort of just a, a sketch of, of what you can do. I mean, they've mixed uh, square, rectangular, yeah, circles. Yeah. You know, don't be afraid to have fun with it. And this is, you know, again, rule breaking, but not, uh, not a wrong way to approach hanging art. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, thanks, Nyla, for coming in and kind of setting us straight. If people want to find out more about you and what you have to offer, how can they do that? Uh, NylaFreeDesigns.com is my website. Yeah and all the information is there. Nyla Free Designs, one word, dot com. Good stuff. Good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. No problem.